call it the elevator pitch, call it your USP, but in essence, it's what makes you different. As you'll hear in this segment from Peter Hutton, he lays out the steps that you need to take so that you can identify your unique selling proposition and then be able to explain it and use it to your best advantage. It's unique for a reason, and that's the problem, the single most difficult hurdle that many agents need to jump over is developing that into your business. Defining how you're going to stand out is what we'll find out from Peter Hutton in just a moment. USP is a unique selling proposition. It's like the holy grail of any product or service and it does my head in, I've got to be honest, because for years I tried to find a USP. I think the simplest way that people try to create that or agencies try to create that is, is like, a, I don't know, like a bit of a trick or a something that's, you know, something that's not really substantial that they're trying to make themselves different. And I've come to realise that unless you really know who you are, who your business is and who your audience is and what they want and what you want to deliver and what you love, very hard to actually create a USP because you'll end up just copying somebody else's gimmick and it becomes very gimmicky. Uh, that is not really a USP, that's just a gimmick. To develop a USP, and this is from my experience of developing my own USP, uh, especially with Hutton and Hutton, we started out what do we want to offer? What can we offer differently? In real estate, we're talking about a, a, a very mature industry that's been around a long time and lots of big players. And we're all using the same systems like realestate.com and Domain. And we're using the same database systems and the same email and SMS systems and Instagram. And we, we follow the same law and everything and the same service structure is very, very similar. So for me to develop a USP for my business, I put all of that aside and I just went back to really basics and asked the question, what do we want to stand for? What do we want to be known for? And how does that look? The most difficult part is that unique aspect of de developing a USP. Why? Because it is a very, uh, uh, it's an industry that's been around a long time. So trying to find that unique thing is, is like that needle in the haystack. And this is where I, I feel a lot of agencies get it wrong because, and, and brands, because they're actually they're trying to find something that's so unique that says this is them and it, it tends to be a gimmick or something that's a one-off that's not sustainable. The, you're far better off finding your own personal uniqueness or as I say, and the word authentic is the, is the thing these days. And, and, and that's, you really could you call a USP an authentic um, you know, a position in the marketplace. Just finding your authenticity is, is critical. With the Hutton and Hutton USP, it's taken me a couple of years to really find it. A lot of that came from observing 
our interactions with our customers and the feedback we got from our customers. The best way to find out who you are is to ask a lot of people how they perceive you. You get feedback, some of it you don't want to hear and some of it you go, I really like that about what they say about me. And that part that you really like, that you really want to continue and actually grow is the part that can become your USP. For Hutton and Hutton, what we found was we have been attracting a lot of women to our, our business, women real estate agents. So we're probably 80% uh, female, 20% uh, male in our two offices in Hawthorne and New Farm in total. We looked at the interactions that our, our team were having with our customers. And what we found was it was a very human, very real, it wasn't about the, the money making. We're not a, a, a company that's all about the reward or the, the commission rewards or the, you know, within a framework of a company winning awards, that sort of thing. So instead we created our manifesto, which is called the More Human Manifesto. And it's really 11 commandments that we live by. It's very simple. One of the first ones is, is um, let's just be human, let's be better humans. And the second one is, let's not lie, let's tell the truth. Just very simple things like that. And we talk about connection with people and making it all about connection and putting people first and not treating people like a number and all of these things. And we talk in the end, the last one is about strong people actually look after themselves first. And that is true, strong people, people with personal strength, know how to survive and grow, but stronger people look after others first and they put others first and they, they really go out there and look after people and that's what the H&H &H brand is all about. It's about service. So that's what we realised. That was the, the key to our business is that we're here to serve. It's not about us, it's about them and that's how we created our USP. Our Manifesto's 11 Commandments are publicly available. We're launching a new website in the next few weeks. We've been building it all year. And within that website, we will share that and people can download it. We have it on the front of our building in New Farm, these two big posters, and people stop and read it every day. And we get people taking photographs of it and we get people talking about it. So we know where, you know, you know your USP is working when you're getting good feedback from others and outside of your business saying, I like that, that's, I really respect that, I get that. And actually wanting to apply it to their own business that's outside of real estate. So it's more about us making a stand for what we believe in. And when you do that, uh, when you tell others what you believe, then those that believe the same thing, they get attracted to you. And really that's what a brand's all about. A brand is about knowing what you believe in, letting them know, so being very public and vocal about what you believe, even at the expense of turning some people away from your business that don't like that, but the ones that do, they're gonna love you, they're gonna follow you, and they're going to do business with you. Such a complex and, and difficult task made so much simpler by being totally transparent. I love Peter's 11 commandments, but he went one step further, didn't he? He made it totally public and that actually made it somewhat unique. We might all be doing the same thing, but it's how we express it and how we deliver it. It's about belief. Don't look for tricks or gimmicks. If you do, you're going to end up the same as everyone else. It can be like finding a needle in a haystack, but ask the questions that Peter gave us. What do we offer that's different? What do we want to stand out for? And how do we describe that? The answers to those three questions alone are going to be, give you a great start to developing your USP. Thanks, Peter. Also, thanks to you for joining me. I'm Kevin Turner, and I'll see you on the next episode of The Real Deal.